What I have right here is the all new Samsung S25 Ultra. And now that more and more Galaxy devices are now receiving the latest firmware of One UI 7, here are my favorite features and some settings you need to adjust to really get the most out of it. Let's get started. Oh yeah, and timestamps for everything, of course, will be in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's get started with the homepage. So I don't know if you noticed, but my icons are small and they're unlabeled. You see by long holding and going into the settings tab, you now have the ability to finally change the size of the apps. And if you look on the very bottom, you could disable label or no label. I prefer a minimalistic look, which is why I have mine like this. But another cool look would be by maximizing the size and then having large size app icons with no names. So long as you know the actual like name of these apps, there's no need to really have them because you still have the thumbnail, of course, of the app. And then if we go back to that setting page by tapping settings, and if you scroll all the way down, you have rotate landscape mode enabled. By having this off, it's not gonna rotate, but by having this enabled, we always had this ability where by picking up the device and moving in landscape mode, it will adapt. But now notice that your widget also does the exact same thing. It's been optimized to work even better and smoother, giving you a better experience than previously. But this rotation also works on your home page. You see, you have access to this other setting. You need to go in control center. Let me rotate this back and pull this down. The control for your lock rotation by long holding, it will take you to the auto rotation settings. Here is where you can enable it to also be included for voice call screen. Whenever you're having a phone call, you can allow it to rotate that way as well. But on lock screen, by having lock screen enabled, now if we lock our device and you hold it like this, well, first unlock it, there you go. Notice how it all rotated. So if you have like a wider wallpaper like I do right here, it will actually rotate it with the time and date and as well as the now brief bar. So if you have this like charge on a stands like I do right here, this will also act like a great nightstand mode if you have always on display enabled. That's pretty awesome. Now unlocking our device, another thing you can do on the homepage is custom folders for your apps. Long hold and move them around, hover it over another app. You'll create a folder, right? You can name this anything you want. I'm just gonna call it the for now. I wanna like to move that app and drop it in there. This app, drop it in there. And this app, and drop it in there. By long holding on the folder, you can now enlarge it, giving you a larger folder icon to choose from. That's a new tool that was also given. And yes, you do still have the freedom to rearrange it to your own personal preference. Additionally, by long holding, and we go back into our cus homepage customization tool on the bottom here on widget, we did receive one new widget and that is countdown. And you will see it right here. In countdown, you could add things like your birthday, Christmas, anniversary, or a vacation trip, movie trip, and literally create a custom countdown right here on your locked page or home page where it'll actually tell you to countdown. You just have to select the event. So I'm just gonna select uh, a work day, right? So now I have three days until my work day. So it all correlates with your planner you have going on. So this again, could be a movie, anniversary, someone's birthday, Christmas, a holiday, other holidays, beer fest. <laughs> I'm sure you get the picture. And if you spend more time here, you can also change the size as well as the custom image if you like to give it like a custom image as well. Now, these apps that you see me feature right in here, these now are fully compatible to play mobile games on Android Auto. So on your car, when your car is in park, you can now play Beach Buggy Racer 1, 2, or Angry Birds, even Candy Crush, as all these five games are fully compatible. And don't be surprised if more and more games come available on your Android Auto head unit. And you simply just download it on the App Store. Now, real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could take two seconds to hit that like button, I like I'll be truly appreciated because I like to keep my channel sponsor free from brands and by having the channel being powered by you guys, not brands, allows me to continue making videos like this. So I get straight to the point without having to pitch in like a minute or two ad to make you subscribe to a VPN or something like that. It's to me, it's kind of unnecessary. I like this freedom. So big thank you to those that continue hitting the like button. I like really appreciate you guys. Let's carry on. Now let's go ahead and go over the new features that's found on the lock page. So in case you missed it, and maybe you haven't noticed, 
I have a new style on my clock. That is new. So if I long hold here and activate and enter my pin codes, it will take us to the customized homepage page. If you select clock, you can now position this wherever you like. Your widgets are also attached to it and it will correlate to the background as well as you see it do right there. It's matching the color of my truck. Yes, that is my truck. But if you go in style, if you go all the way to the far right, there's new styles to choose from for the clock. My personal favorite one is probably this one. It's not that bad. But tapping done, let it save. Another thing I would like to show you is the widgets. By selecting here, there's new widgets you can now add. One of the new ones is camera control, voice memo as voice recorder, battery is also a good one, and so many more. But the beauty about the camera one, let me delete this and start fresh. So if I add camera as an example, I can hit custom camera. And now the custom camera got added, I can tap done. And once you do that, you have to hit start to start the setup pro procedure. And from here, when you're launching it for the first time, you can name the camera mode, but where it says start mode, you can select what kind of camera you want, like it to start from the rear or the front camera, as well as if you wanted photo, portrait, or video, or promo, or, or more. Save preference, and once you do that, hit save. And now if we go back to our lock screen and tap camera, unlock it, it'll automatically launch the camera setting that we selected. Now, if we start like a clock, uh, countdown right now, right? Launch the clock app, set a timer, stopwatch, start, and I lock my device. We now have a now briefing on the bottom over here, which allows you to switch between different things on the very bottom. You can also include stuff such as third-party apps or your current team that's playing. You can monitor the scoreboard right here on your device. If you don't know how to set that up, simply just, well, let's exit this real quick. There we go. In the home page, go into your device settings and search up the now bar. There we go. Sorry, I was calling this now brief for a second. But in the now bar section, select now bar again. And where it says sports from Google, this should be enabled by default. But if it's not enable that, select this and select sport from Google settings. And then from here, you can search up your favorite team leads or recommendations and then add them. And once you do that, just tap save. And now whenever your favorite team is playing, you'll monitor the team score right there on your log page. Now, other things you may have noticed I could do now is on the bottom over here, you can change the camera or the little flashlight indicator widget over here now, because if we go ahead and customize our lock screen one last time, and we select on the camera one as an example, you have more widgets to quickly swap this between. It could also be a, an actual dedicated app as well. You find yourself using the most. So those shortcuts on the lock page, you can customize it now to do more, just simply do nothing or launch your camera app. You can allow it to use live translations, location, or do not disturb our airplay mode, even low power mode too, like I have mine set up. Now these next ones are more app dedicated. And the first one, the most awesome one I gotta say, is on the phone app. By launching the phone app, if we go ahead and call somebody real quick. Now I am gonna block this, so bear with me, but notice this new icon right above here. This will allow you to do transcripts as you're recording a phone call. So by selecting here, it will bring up a little message showing you that this will record the phone call. And then a three second timer will pop up and it will alert the caller that this line is now being recorded. So now you're actually recording a phone call. So if it's something important or you just need to record something due to legal issues, you now have that freedom to do so. And you can still launch your virtual call assistant right there as well if you like to transition the call. So if we end this call now, it not only saved the transcript, and you'll find it in your recent tab, because right here on your recent tab, you'll see a little new microphone icon. By selecting this, there's a new voice recording and transcript option. Select this. You'll see the transcript right above here and it uses AI to make sure who's talking. So both parties will be in their own separate bubbles, allowing you to easily follow it. And you could summarize the call as well. But if you like to listen to the log entirely raw, you could just select play and you could begin listening to it. This is an incredible feature. Another new feature can be found in the camera app. By selecting camera app, if you hit record, well, this is a bad example actually. We need to use the back camera, flip the camera, 
Now you have this new slider. Some Android phones are gonna have a new slider right here, which allows you to create some really smooth transitions between zooming in and zooming out. Now, since we are using an Ultra, mine doesn't feature the new slider, but most users will find this new slider available. Now, if you ever take a photo, like a selfie photo, and you accidentally like look away, so long as it's a motion photo. So here's a photo that I took. Ugly, right? If I hit the, and I select the pencil icon, and you select right there where it says new impression with best face, select this. It will utilize AI to generate the best face you can select from to redo the shot to make it seem like you did that on purpose. So obviously right now, this definitely looks a lot better. This is super useful and like with friends and you're all gathered together on a photo, one person blinks or sneezes or something like that. You can use AI to give yourself a second chance without having to reshoot everything. So that's how best face works. You can select more too as you have like different frame rates to go from. Now, if you ever have to record something and there's like a lot of background sound happening in the background, like a leaf blower or something like that. Well, as an example, if you hit record, I don't have anything playing in the background, unfortunately, but just bear with me, it works pretty well. So after you're done recording a video, select on that video, select the pencil icon. There's now a new erase unwanted sound with audio eraser tool. You can select it from here and then just tap on audio eraser, uses AI, and you should have a new slider right here which allows you to control how aggressive you want the noise to be adjusted and just tap play. New powerful tool for video editing when recording, when vlogging on the go. Now another cool tool you have here is by double tapping the screen right here for Google, there's now a new audio notes setting. So here's a better example. So by activating this, of course, you can circle around. It will Google's reverse image search to show you what you're looking at or find out exactly what you're looking for in case you're buying for something. Wow, these are actually accurate. These are all my photos, except for these ones. But that one's my photo. This one's also my photo. Is this my Instagram? This is not my Instagram. Someone's just stealing my images. But back to the story. If you're ever on Instagram, as an example, let's say if I play something. <laughs> So this is weird parody. By long holding here, you can now use, wow, I got it right. So what it just basically did was it was identifying the background sound I was using, listening through an app, and it pointed to me this YouTube fan-made song that somebody made of Joe Swanson singing Gotta Go Fast from Sonic. So yes, now you could use Google to identify music right here off their search bar. And then lastly, if you have multiple devices all hooked up to your phone all at once, so here I'm gonna put on the Galaxy Buds. If you bring down Control Center and you bring down this bigger page, you will see a new nearby devices section. By selecting here, you can see the devices are connected to your phone. And if you like to quickly disconnect, you could just literally click and drag them out and they disconnect just like so. If you like to reconnect, you could just click and drag it and it immediately connects. So you now have a better disconnect tool instead of having to turn off like your Bluetooth settings like you used to. But other than that, there you guys have it. Those are all the new tools that Samsung gave us on One UI 7. Let me know in the comment section which one of these was your own personal favorite. And if there's a feature we missed and you'd like to share with everybody else, feel free to comment down below for the rest of us. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. But real quick, if you wish to watch more, maybe you would like to see the complete video guide of all the new apps that got added on Android Auto that you can now download on the Android App Store and play on your vehicle. I cover it in greater detail in that video over there. Thank you once again for watching.